This is episode 92. Are you planning on running a backlink campaign and wondering how many links you should acquire? Well, according to Google's John Mueller, the total number of backlinks might not even matter. And in this episode, I will dig deep and tell you why. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. So last week during the Google Search Central SEO Hangout on February 19th, uh, a, a listener asked uh, John Mueller this question regarding backlinks. So the question said, what matters most, the number of unique referring backlink domains or the total number of backlinks? And John Mueller basically in a nutshell said that the total number of backlinks a website has doesn't matter at all to the search algorithm. All right. So he's basically saying that the more backlinks your site has doesn't really matter. And what's more important is the quality of the backlinks. So theoretically, a website can rank really well from just one quality backlink versus million of low quality backlinks. So I think this is news, but at the same time, this kind of has been the the standard for quite some time. So yes, the number of backlinks do matter, but what's more important is the quality of those links, right? Uh, You don't want links coming from spammy websites, irrelevant websites, or websites that don't make sense in terms of your niche. So my recommendation to you is to first make sure that your site has a linkable asset. So what does a linkable asset mean? That basically means that a piece of content that is shareworthy, that is link worthy, that people can read, find benefit from, and will say, oh, wow, that's a really cool piece of content that I just read, that I just saw, right? It needs to be something that's beneficial to the user. And once you have that linkable asset, then you can go and do some uh, backlink outreach and uh, ask people uh, that you have this piece of content that might be relevant to their audience. So I think what John Mueller is basically telling us is not to do just buying backlinks or getting backlinks from millions and millions of sites, thinking that that is a silver bullet to ranking online. And I think it hits home really clearly that, you know, the number of backlinks don't really matter. You know, Uh, the quality of the backlinks truly, truly matter. So uh, my recommendation, again, is to really focus on the quality of the site, right? So make sure that the sites that you are outreaching to make sense and that their audience, right, the, the, the audience of the other website should find it helpful in some way. So uh, backlinks are still relevant, but just make sure that you are focusing on quality and not necessarily on quantity. So this makes it harder, right? Because it's easy to get a backlink from, from a spammy website, but you need to make sure that you are vetting these websites and that it makes sense. But you also need to make sure that you have content that's good quality and content that really makes sense to link to. So content is is really important here. And having that relationship with other webmasters um, will make it easier for them to link to you. So make sure you have that good content. Make sure you do quality outreach because that really matters as well. And and yeah, it's a, it's an ongoing process. It's not something that's easy, 
uh, but it's something that's necessary. So um, with that said, uh, let me know um, what you think of this episode. If you have any questions regarding SEO, regarding marketing, Facebook ads, just business in general, or INFP specific related questions, uh, let me know by going to bit.ly forward slash the calm marketer. That's bit.ly forward slash the calm marketer. And you can send me a video, an audio, or text and ask me any questions. If you want my assistance with anything, if you have a business that needs marketing help, um, let's see if we can collaborate. Let's see if we can work something out. So with that said, I will see you on the next episode.